My dad and I get along just fine, but we don't spend a lot of time together. So a father-son trip to the west coast sounded like a great idea. We took six days away to see some of the most incredible sights on the planet. Here is our story. Okay, so after one four hour flight and one three hour drive, we are finally at the hotel in Springsdale, Utah. The Zion, said to have some of the most jaw dropping cliffs you'll ever see. Except we had a problem. High clearance four wheel drive vehicles only. Steep drives. Well, here's a solution. That's right, ATVs. Alright, ready to go. And I tried something a little bit different from what I'm used to. That is a cactus fruit, a prickly pear cactus fruit right there. That's not bad. No. Yeah, it's pretty sweet actually. That's not what I expected at all. But that wasn't what we were looking for, and there was more to be seen. But again, we faced another obstacle, Angel's Landing. Yeah, this place is known for having a three foot wide walkway to pass through. Many people have died going across it, and hopefully that won't happen to us. Foot drop. <laughs> and I reached the top. The way to our next destination was filled with incredible rock cliffs that encompassed the road. We were also surprised by an interesting discovery. Oh, a volcano right now. Yeah, look, that is. That's lava. I actually saw molten lava. See, that's, that's pretty fresh. That's, you know, nothing's growing on it. All of that is lava. Yeah. We found the remnants of a volcanic eruption. I don't know, I would say within a, a few hundred years. Of Just passed a whole bunch of lava from a volcano that erupted probably recently because the lava seems pretty fresh if there's nothing growing on it. Let's try to find the shade. Right, we are now leaving Bryce. A storm is coming, so we're leaving at just the right time. And now we're headed to the Grand Canyon. And the water has turned to ice, and now it's hailing. And we don't know what we're gonna do. Oh, oh. Did you get that? 
that? Yep, I did. We're looking for a hidden trail that we think is somewhere in between here and here, but it's not marked. We saw it on the internet, so it must be real. But we have a ride at the Grand Canyon. It's the first time I've ever been here and the fourth time my dad has ever been here. This could be it, right? Did it say there wouldn't be parking? You want to go up here? Yeah, let's do that. So we think we found the trail we were looking for. Um, it's an unmarked trail, and we were thinking we didn't want to go to a place where there were a lot of people. So we decided to look for something online that was a little bit less crowded, and we found this Shoshan something trail where it's not marked and it's off the side of the road and it can't be accessed with a car. Perfect. I thought an easy path would present itself, but we can't seem to really know where we're going, so we're probably just lost in the woods right now. He's off to our left here. I, I, I think we're walking parallel to the rim. Ah, look at that little pond. Ah. All right, we pass the pond. I don't think we're lost anymore. I see the edge, and we're gonna get out of here, I'm pretty sure. It may not be legal to fly a drone in the Grand Canyon, but sometimes you gotta break the rules. And this time, I would say, breaking the rules was something well worth the risk. right here drops off super sharply check this out we didn't stay there long before we kept on moving all right now we're leaving the Grand Canyon One of the most surprising parts of the trip wasn't the national parks. I knew those would be incredible, but what we saw on the road is what was most surprising. On our way to a former gold mine, we stopped to check out a view, but ended up seeing something shocking. Yeah, it does look like there was a dog buried up here then. I mean, that's a dog. It was a funeral ground for pets. Oh wow, I didn't even realize there's a ton of them. Discoveries like this are why it's important to focus on the journey. We could have easily missed a spot if we focused too much on getting to where we were going. This place used to have a population in the thousands. When it was first discovered there was gold here, the population skyrocketed. But now there's a little bit over 100 people, you said, or 300? 158. A former gold mine with thousands of inhabitants is now populated by a few hundred people. And... Donkeys. Along with the donkeys, we found one of the most insightful books, perhaps, on the planet. 
Yeah, maybe it wasn't that insightful, but it's still funny though. Anyways, we said good. goodbye to the donkeys <laughs> and made our way to Vegas. Hold up, we missed a few things. Let's go back a bit. We also visited this place called Horseshoe Gap. I'm not really sure why. That's because it's shaped like a horseshoe. If you couldn't tell that. But anyways, while we were there, I witnessed this little guy. A velvet ant, aka the cow killer. If you didn't already know, this is what it looks like to get stung by one. Okay, let me get back here. You're right. We also checked out the Hoover Dam and saw how massive the turbines are. It's one of those generators is seven stories high. All right, back to Vegas, where we'll finish up this story. For the last leg of our journey, we're staying in Vegas. This evening, we're gonna go check out Cirque du Soleil. No, I couldn't record any of the main show, but it was fantastic and a great way to end the trip.